because I really believe that this place is not just a physical realm. We're not just physical um, beings. There's way more than that. There's way more. Welcome, welcome everybody to my fifth video. This is going quite nice and interesting. How are you everybody? I hope everything is not short of perfect. And uh, this is such a beautiful day. Look at this. I cannot and will never take this for granted. It's so pretty. I'm so happy I'm here today. And um, I had a conversation with a good friend of mine. And we talked about how if can somebody come from something, can a something create a somebody? And I thought about it a lot because I look for clues and signs uh, for the existence of a creator. And the more I look around, the more I realize it has to have a creator. So there is no chance that this beautiful and amazing and perfectly designed world came from nothing, from no... Uh, no intention, conscious intention behind it, no chance. Humanity's consciousness is in a very, very, I don't want to say a dark place these days, but uh, a very limited perception of reality. Not saying I'm the perfect, you know, but I do understand the complexity of this place. And the more I think about it, the more information I collect, the more dots I'm connecting, the more I realize that this place is very, very special. And it's made for us. It has been built for humans, mostly, to live in. We have the perfect temperature to live here. We have the perfect air pressure. We are the perfect size to enjoy everything in creation from the little plants that we eat up to the big trees that give us air and fruit. And a lot of them give us medicine. Everything is built for us in a way. And yet, we're not really a part of nature because we cannot walk around naked and survive. We have to have our human abilities to survive in this realm. I don't know if you feel the same, but to me it's very fascinating. I love it. So uh, my final conclusion about this thing is that this Earth is built for us humans to live in. I'm not gonna go into who is hiding it from us or what do they want us to uh, actually think about this beautiful realm. I'm not gonna go into this, but um, you can kind of understand where I'm going with it. Look at this mountain wall. How beautiful. We have a lot of these here. I forgot the name. Ever since I was a child, everybody told us to uh, 
not get close to this because if you eat even the smallest piece of that, you're going to sleep for three days and it's not even sure that you're coming back. I'm pretty sure it has a lot of medicinal qualities because this is how it works. And that brings me back to the idea of an intelligent designer that created everything. The beautiful thing about it is that the creator will never talk to you in words like other humans do. The creator, the designer of this earth is either shy or we are not really worthy uh, enough to hear from him, from it, from them, from her, whatever it is. And that's the only thing that makes sense. It's so evolved and so intelligent and so endlessly smart that it's pointless to talk to us humans. But we are still being observed and looked at and taken care of by this entity. That's how I feel. So if God will ever talk to me, it will never be in words. If you release a question to the universe, universe meaning this realm, you might get the answer in the shape of a sign or a coincidence or a synchronicity or a number that will appear in front of you somewhere in a random place, in a random situation. It might be a person that comes like out of nowhere and gives you something or something that they said that relates to your question. And if you're observant enough, if you're smart enough, sensitive enough to actually use this information that you get from the world around you, you can actually have the answers to uh, your questions. Because I really believe that this place is not just a physical realm. We're not just physical um, beings. There's way more than that. There's way more. So every time I come across a huge man-made structure, it looks very majestic to me. So that's the dam. And um, yeah, there's a whole lake on the other side of it. And you can actually walk on the upper part of it. So that's a big, big, big man-made structure that's inside a big, beautiful green valley. That's like a collision between two worlds. The world of men coexists with the world of God. And the whole creation is so pretty here. The creation of men and the creation of God which creates uh, a very beautiful um, harmonic. I don't give a fuck about being cliché, it's beautiful. You know? is making funny noises. Anyways, that's my cue. I'm out of here. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button. Hit the belly button. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.